A new hurdle in the effort to oust Honolulu prosecutor Keith Kaneshiro. His attorney is now asking for an investigation into the petition started by Tracy Yoshimura. Manolo Morales follows up. Manolo. Marissa, attorney William McCarston says Yoshimura made false statements to support the petition. There's also the question of whether it was officially received by Kaneshiro. Yoshimura started the petition containing signatures from hundreds of voters. In Thursday's hearing, McCarston told the judge that Kaneshiro has not actually received the petition. It's troublesome that there's uh, even procedural hearings being entertained without his formally being served. Yoshimura's attorney says the petition was delivered to the receptionist and does not have to be delivered to Kaneshiro in person. This process server attempted to do that, but the person at the front desk said it would accept service. McCorriston also questions whether the petition is valid. While he confirmed Tuesday that Kaneshiro has received the target letter, the petition also states that Deputy Prosecutor Jan Fuda received a subject letter, which McCorriston says is not true. One might argue that people relied on false statements in the petition when they signed the petition, and it may be another reason to invalidate the petition. There's every opportunity for that, for that individual, as well as Mr. Conisher, to step out and clarify those issues, which they never did. As for the other petition filed by the state attorney general to the Hawaii Supreme Court calling for Kaneshiro to take a leave of absence, Justice Paula Nakayama has recused herself. When we asked why, a spokeswoman says generally judges and justices do not comment on the reasons why. We have learned that the two are friends. She even swore Kaneshiro into office. Chief Justice Mark Rechtenwald also stated that his law clerk was previously employed by McCorson's law firm, so the clerk will not work on this matter. Now, the judge has scheduled another hearing on the impeachment petition on March 11th. Dash, over to you. All right, Manolo, thank you.